You've all seen the ads where the founder of Men's Warehouse tells the rest of us, we're going to like the way we look in his clothes. Well, this morning he's out of a job, fired from the company he started, but he's not going quietly. And ABC's Dan Harris has a look at the controversy. That signature tagline. I guarantee it. That beard, that brio. I'm George Zimmer, president of the Men's Warehouse. For roughly 30 years. Or you can put a hipper mock turtleneck. As ideas of what qualifies as hip have evolved. Look around. There's a new type of suit in America. And as his hair has grayed and his delivery mellowed. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. George Zimmer has been the pitch man for Men's Warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. But he definitely does not like the look of this, a seemingly sudden announcement from the company on Wednesday saying the 64-year-old has been terminated, even though he was the founder and face of the corporation. Zimmer shot back in a statement of his own telling ABC News he'd built the Men's Warehouse into a multi-billion dollar company, but that now the board of directors has inappropriately chosen to silence my concerns. A stock analyst who follows the company says Zimmer has significantly reduced his role over the past two years, during which time a new CEO has been appointed, but that Zimmer had trouble relinquishing control, which led to this current conflict. This all has to be a bitter pill for Zimmer to swallow. I went to the men's warehouse for the same He founded the company in the 1970s. The this little bald guy was the initial spokesman, the and that didn't go over so well. So in the mid 1980s, Zimmer stepped in and shot hundreds of ads as the company grew and grew. Now, before you feel too bad for Zimmer, consider that his most recent pay figure was nearly two million bucks. And he still owns 3% of the men's warehouse, a stake worth more than 66 million bucks. So while he may not like the look of whoever the new spokesman is, he probably likes the look of his bank statement. I guarantee it. For Good Morning America, Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.